she matches my shirt what is happening you guys welcome back to my channel long time no talk well i guess not really long time no talk because i talk to you guys like once a week but nonetheless welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome if you're already here spending your time with me you might as well hit the subscribe button down below so you can join the family and never miss out on a new upload so what have i been up to i've just been living my life um cute little updates i quit my job quit my side job. I was working there before just to kind of like make some extra income and get out of the house and socialize, but I don't want to do that anymore. Also, as you will see in this video, I have a sponsor now, so I'm doing good. I have no reason to continue working there, and so I quit. So now it is time for full-time content creation, and I'm so excited to be making new content for you guys. This sort of setup is just the beginning. I want to turn my channel from like, like a three or a four to like an eight or a nine. I want y'all to sweat. Now this video is not going to be one of those videos, <laughs> but I do have a lot of things in the works and I'm so excited to see how it progresses. I'm going to make more videos. I'm going to make more reels, more TikToks, more Instagram posts. I'm super excited. Also, I was thinking about doing like a trans coaching thing, like more in-depth one-on-one. I have a Wizio, which is linked down below if you want to submit any requests or questions or you want advice from me, but I feel like some people want a course or some people want like an hour to sit down with me and figure out their transition. I don't want to do that in a way that benefits the both of us. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. But before we jump into this week's video, we do have a message from our lovely sponsors, Catch Beauty. Hi there. If you've been following me for a long time, then you would know that body hair is something that I have struggled with a ton in my lifetime and in my transition. For years, I would have to shave my legs and body parts daily in order to feel smooth. And I had already shelled out so much money on salon electrolysis, salon laser, and I was not interested in spending another few thousand on getting my legs, my arms, and everywhere else done. I didn't realize that you can literally do it at home by yourself for a fraction of the price. How come no one told me? Catch Beauty's at-home IPL as a hair removal device is my top recommended hair removal technique. I have been using it for a long time. I've been using them for a couple years now. When I first started using them, I was using it very, very regularly. Now it's really just for touch-ups. It's been quite a while since I've done anything to my arm. I used to ignore the burns, oh my God. I used to have like thick, hairy arms and now like, there's a couple of hairs, but the ones that are there are light. With our IPL handset, you can get salon quality results at a very affordable price. And more than that, you can use it anywhere instead of having to book a session every week or two weeks with the salon company to do one little section of your leg. You can just do it yourself everywhere all at once. This handset is the most effective, convenient, pain-free, and affordable ways to get long-term hair removal. I have used their original handset as well as the V4.1. I love both of them. They both work really well. I do like the V4.1 just a little bit better. I think it's a tiny bit stronger and it has a bunch of different heads that work for light therapy on your skin. If you are a candidate for IPL laser hair removal, Catch Beauty is the product for you. I love Catch Beauty not only for their fantastic products, but also because of their support for the transgender community. Every day, and not just in Pride Month, Catch Beauty is working to help us through even the hairiest parts of our transition. So whether you are a trans girl going through your transition or just someone that wants to get rid of some unwanted hair, you should definitely check out the link in my description box down below and use my code ROSE to get money off of your order. A huge thank you to Catch Beauty for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And without further ado, let's get on into the video. For those of you who don't know, my best friend's name is Jillian. She is my home skillet biscuit has been since day one. We've been friends since high school and we've just been inseparable ever since. Um, she's been in some of my future media videos, pop her right up here. She's wonderful. She didn't want to be on camera for this vlog, but she, you know what she looks like, okay? And being my bestie among the countless things she knows about me, two came into play. One being that I love Juno Birch. Another one being that I, if it's up to me, I will never leave the house. I'll literally stay in bed or in the house all day. I don't want to talk to people. I don't like doing things that much. I enjoy when I'm out, but I'm not going to take the initiative. So she really took those two things and ran with it. Anyway, this past Christmas, Jill got me four tickets to go see Juno Birch live. If you're unfamiliar with who Juno Birch is, definitely go check her out. She's incredible. She is a drag queen and a trans woman. She's sort of like an alien who crash landed in 1952. She's so incredible. In fact, I actually did a makeup transformation where I turned myself into her.
that was the beginning of the pandemic where I mean really we were all going a little stir crazy and that's how that manifested for me there were four tickets there was me Jill obviously Christopher my fiance obviously and then we invited my friend Raekwon love him love all of them um me and Jill have been to many many drag shows but Chris and Ray have never been to a drag show before which I thought was crazy Chris makes sense I mean straight away like whatever but like Ray Raekwon baby your first drag show that was so fun it was so special and like iconic to take people to like their first ever drag show and the fact that it was juno was so iconic the show started at 8 p.m at club royale in boston i do want to say before i show you guys too much of the vlog that i was so so drunk i do this thing where i nervous drink which isn't good but i am such an introvert i don't like going out and doing things or talking to people or meeting new people so in order to like cope with that i'll drink beforehand and in my mind, I forget that it doesn't hit you immediately. When you take a shot, it, you don't immediately feel it. So I was throwing them back. I was throwing them back before I even left the hotel. I was throwing them back. And by the time I got there, I was already half in the bag. Also, if you have anything to say about my voice in these clips, shut up. Shut up. Up because everybody's voice takes practice <laughs> I was with my besties I was drinking I was just not like working on my voice at all this is me trying a little bit but like I like wasn't trying in the vlog so if you have an issue if you think I sound like a man that's why everything takes practice and I'm getting there so please be nice so we drove to Boston Chris was driving as usual which we all appreciate especially with these gas prices girl we blasted a mixture of <laughs> hoochie music and like fun Disney music so Cheetah Girls, Hercules, um, Lil' Kim, Grammy Ma, all sorts of Aisha erotica. Sorry baby. I'm so sorry. Okay you guys we are headed to go see Juna Birch in Boston. Look at my fucking eyes. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I got my makeup on. You're gonna see the full look later but we are headed up to Boston right now. Raekwon in the back. Then we also got Christopher driving us all the way to Boston. God bless. So I'm very excited to see her perform and I'll see you guys when we get to the hotel. Anyway, here's us at the hotel. I was having a really hard time like amping myself up to like be excited and go do stuff. So we all hung out in one room to pregame and it was fantastic. Here's that footage. Okay, girl, we are now in Hotel Boston. I am here with Chris. He's in the car right now grabbing something. Jill and Raekwon are in their room pretty much right above us. And yeah, I'm super excited. Um, it's sort of like basically Motel 6. It's called Hotel Boston. We're just gonna chill for a little bit and then finish getting ready, do her hair, do her finishing touches on her makeup, and head over. You just came back. You are currently balanced on a broken down Red Bull container and like a remote control. So if the lighting seems wonky, if the angle seems wonky, it is what it is. You're gonna get what I give you. It's given Maddie for sure. My teeth look so yellow with the yellow lighting. <laughs> anyway, um, I will update you guys when we are pre-gaming and getting ready. So bye. We're doing shots, bitch. We're doing some shots of Malibu. I also got us some nips, but look how fucking cute these are. I got a whole bunch of them. Oh my god. Okay, so me and Ray are gonna take shots and it's gonna be silent because we don't want to get copyrighted. So enjoy. Oh, you trying to add to that? She's a big bitch. Wet like water. It's always about pussy. Well, so I used to chase my spurn off with a McGillicut. <laughs> We are currently trying to get like the energy to get up and going because bitch, I'm just not, we're not with it today, at least I'm not, I don't know about everyone else, but I'm the like, person moving and dancing around. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired. Okay, no, that's because I'm trying to like force mania on myself. All right, bitches, we are heading out. This is a little fit check. I got a little one, two number on, I got the fishnets. And of course, I got these insane heels from Steve Madden. Ray is wearing a gorgeous mesh top. Go ahead and show them, baby. Go ahead and show them, baby. Chris is wearing the straight boy uniform. <laughs> Jill is wearing a hot Y2K kind of strappy look. We both got the butterfly pins and I got the little like, um, I don't know, like barbed wire necklace that Jillian borrowed and it's so cute. I feel so cunt and we're gonna go see Juno. So see you there. The Juno show was so much fun. I looked incredible, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, but it was even more fun because I was with my three best friends. I had drinks, made friends with strangers. It was just a great time. I've been a fan of Juno's for a long time, but I've also been a fan of her friend Licorice Black's for a long time. And it was a surprise to all of us, including Jill, that Licorice was opening for Juno. So there was like an intermission between them and they had two performances each. It was so cool. It was so awesome. It was so special. Both of their performances were stunning. And while it was Chris and Ray's first drag show, Jill and I are pretty seasoned, but we've gone to a lot of local shows with local queens, which are incredible. But this was the first like big production that we've been to for drag and it was so cool. If I say cool one more time, I swear to God. And when I say like high quality production, I don't mean like she had a ton of props or had like a crazy light work or anything. It was pretty, I mean, I don't want to say bare bones, but like it, there weren't that many bells and whistles. It was just Juno's presence that made it so high quality. I want to be where the people are. <laughs> I want to see, want to see them dancing. <laughs> Walking around on those, <gasps> what you call them again? Up <laughs> where they walk. Wish I could be part of that. Yeah. Uh. Now, while the show's quality was high, my level of functioning was very low. I look back at the videos that I took and like... Okay! Wow. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I did get merch. I wanted a Juno shirt so bad, but I guess they get lost in the mail. So that's very unfortunate. However, I did get a signed Juno birch poster and a licorice black t-shirt. We did arrive there and get our seats very early. So I went for a walk. I went outside of the venue. And while I was outside, there was a line of people waiting to get in. And there was this one girl done up like Trixie Mattel. And she looked so good. And I was already so drunk. And so I yell out, it's like 7 p.m. in Boston. It's like 7, 7.30, still broad daylight, essentially out. Talk my lungs. I yell out, you look so cunt. <laughs> And she just smiled and she was like, thanks doll, happy pride. So I found her inside afterwards and we filmed this video right here. Calling dolls, attention dolls. The dolls are dolling. If anybody knows who she is, let me know down below. I want to be friends with her so bad. After the show, I was already plastered at a cute 10 30 PM. And I guess I wanted Jill to get a video of me with my merch in the street. So here's that. Okay. Victoria, get you your ass back, back here. here. Get your hoochie back over here. I'm beating your ass. Sit down. I don't even. <sighs> so it's after the show. We're gonna get Uber Eats, but like Subway's closed. So like, we're gonna find, I guess, like Chipotle or whatever. We'll see. Basically, we're all going to bed. We're gonna get McDonald's. We're gonna go to bed. Anyway, I love you. Bye. I did end up getting Uber Eats. Your girl got a Big Mac. Also, we Ubered from the hotel to the club and back. Don't get it twisted. Drunk driving is not cute. Don't do that. And obviously, I was twisted. Chris wasn't drinking, but like, we didn't, it's just, you know what I mean? When we got back to the hotel, I literally tried to continue drinking Malibu. I had it in my hands. I was taking swigs until Jill was like, no, no, give it to me, give it to me. She did take the bottle of Malibu though. Girl, I bought that bottle of Malibu. Anyway, thank God she did because would you like to see how I looked in the morning? Do you want to see how I felt in the morning? How I felt in the morning? Here she is. Don't talk to me. It is brutal out here. After screaming, you look so cunt at people all night. My voice is gone. Anyway, we're headed home. I got licorice black merch. Bye. Not my proudest moment. So we left Boston at like 7.30 in the morning because Chris wanted to go to work the next day, which I totally understand. But bitch, I was violently hungover. That was probably one of the most hungover I've ever been. I, I was gonna say I didn't even drink that much, but I guess I did. We're heading home. And 
and no one can talk to me for the rest of the day. When we got home, we dropped off Ray. Jill and I are back at the house as Chris is going off to work. And we proceeded to lie down in separate rooms and just decay for like three hours. Just decay. You know that kind of like spinning like hungover or drunk where if you move from one position that you're laying in, you're gonna throw up. So you're like, I just have to stay here. If I move at all, I'm gonna die. Guess I'll stay here forever. It was one of those. But after our naps, we felt a little bit better. Jill drove home and I got a PD light and we all live happily ever after. So yeah, that was the vlog. Um, despite being violently, disgustingly hung over the next day, it was so much fun and 110% worth it. I love Juna Birch, love Licorice Black. More importantly, I love the three people that I went with. And thank you so much to Jill for getting me those tickets. I would have never have done that otherwise. And it really brought me out of my shell. So remember to say yes to adventure sometime. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much. Please let me know what you want to see next. I have so many video ideas and so many production things going in the works. And I'm so excited to show you guys what I've been working on. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And until I see you next week, good luck. I love you. Bye.